Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 a Game of Thrones. This is now officially the longest A Game of Thrones series on the channel, uh, which is interesting. I would celebrate it a bit more if I wasn't in such a dire situation right now because, frankly, I'm getting my ass kicked. Right, all I can think of is to carry on sieging and we just need to wait for this army to, to basically be wiped out because they can't embark in time to escape anyway. Um, so we just got to keep on sieging. I worry that they're going to take Pike, though. But what can I do against such hateful people? Oh, we're just losing more and more. Oh, man. I mean, it's my fault for thinking I can do anything here. Like, can we embark in time? Oh, we might actually be able to embark in time. Oh, the bad thing is now, though, is that they're leaving us. Right, I'm going to sit this army on Pike. Um, if I can bloody click on it. And I'm going to need to let them replenish a little bit. And hopefully I can do something. we got a bloody dangerous faction as well. Ah, oh, the claimant. No, that's already gone. Oh, the independence faction. From me. Oh, it's all happening, lads. It's all happening. The whole dynasty is collapsing before my very eyes. We've got prisoners escaping as well. It's fine. We'll get through this. We've gotten through bad wars before. We can recover and get through this one. The good thing is the war score is actually not the bad against us either. Uh, thanks to all our sieging efforts over here. We're holding on. Salard's time has come. Yes, let's kill the child. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, we're going to try again. We failed. In the scorching midday heat, they sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on lutes and flutes. They sing in many tongues, yet my heart can understand every word. I can hear them from my balcony and they stir my soul. Yet I do not know the identity of these musicians. Uh, why are we this? Okay, we're going to become a poet, sure. I'll be honest though, we're, we're bloody beaten. We're trying to replenish the army. I don't think now is the bloody time for poetry, you know? <laughs> That's just my two cents. Uh, we can transfer vassals to Lys, apparently. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is the only free city that's not currently trying to rebel against me. Although maybe giving them more vassals will change their mind. Right, this this bloody murder scheme has been discovered as well. Absolutely nothing I want to do is working. And everything is going against us right now. Oh boy. Sure. Sure. I, I gain... I, I lose some stress. I think I need to lose some stress. I'll be honest, my stress gain is uh, is getting rather high at the moment. Dangerous Faction, we already know about this game. Don't you worry. You've made it clear to me. Right, this army is slowly replenishing. That's good. We're going to get all of the men at arms back at least. Well, we're losing 30 gold a month. While her numerous attempts to carry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Captain Amiria's sudden interest in me. Get away from me. I do not need a woman. I need armies. Right, Arryn. Uh, Laura Arryn. We can now marry one another. Which is very good news. Hopefully. Uh, can I seduce you? Not... Uh, okay, maybe I sway you first. Hopefully we can have many children. If you could bless me with a son, I would very much appreciate that. How long to siege this? This one's a lot longer. My concubines are getting pregnant as well. We're, we're very good at uh, impregnating our wives whilst we're leading an army, apparently. They must come and visit me at the weekends or something. <laughs> Hopefully they are my children. We got a lot of prisoners there as well. What we need to do is probably another bloody mass ransom, isn't it? Right, let's do one of those. It should get us a nice little chunk of gold as well. There we go. That will undo some of the, the bloody gold we've lost. Jeez, that's a lot of hooks. Also, it gives us a lot of prestige as well. We're already close to illustrious, which is nice. Right. So all of this has been sieged. Minus this. And I've just spotted 31,000 men on the horizon. Why don't we go west to try and siege this? And I'm going to bring my armies and land them over there. Because they can still replenish here. So we'll be for... Actually... Wh why are you... Why are you guys still here? Wait, am I too late to disembark? I'm too late to cancel it. Okay. I have no idea what is happening over here. It's it's pure chaos. That's all one can say. It's absolutely chaos. 
As you sail through the misty waters of the sunset sea, the dark night takes on a foreboding air. Suddenly, the barrelman's voice echoes through the ship. There's some cargo just over starboard, Captain. You and a few of your crew crush to the side of the ship. And to your shock, you see a scene of destruction, burned and broken wooden planks, scattered crates, barrels and chests, all floating on the surface of the ocean, along with the sight of a golden chest. It is clear that something terrible has happened here. Eldritch suggests dropping a rowboat to investigate, at least to retrieve the chest, but you know that whatever caused this destruction could still be lurking nearby. I investigate, I've never had this before. Already a small distance from the ship, the crew and your all uh, forward the sight of a chest ahead. You begin to realize that something isn't right, or not as expected. The supposed chest seems to be moving, and as you get closer, you hear a soothing voice calling to you. It's a song of peace and tranquility, a tune of relaxation. One that fills you with a sense of calm, relieving of all the stress in a way that you haven't felt in years. You cannot resist the desire to follow the voice, and as you draw closer, the moonlight shines down upon the calm sea around you. You realize that your ship is no longer in view. You are completely surrounded by water, and as you look over the side of the boat, a figure breaches the surface. Now I can relax. As the figure breaches the surface of the water, you see that it is a woman with pale smooth skin and chest bare, a graceful silky hair concealing her body. Her face is enchanted with captivating eyes that seem to look right into your soul. She continues to sing her song and you feel yourself drawn closer and closer to her, wanting nothing more than to feel her embrace. Motioning for you to come closer and as you do she speaks, My dear sailor, I can see the stress, pain and issue of your life fetched into your face. I have sung my song for you. Come to my side. And I will bring you what you need in life together. I could grant you your greatest desires. Wait, what? You seem stressed. I help you deal with a faction of yours. The woman promises to help you deal with the claimant factions for you. Lord Lodos dies. Please help me. As you reach out. And take the woman's hand. She suddenly yanks you into the water and begins to drag you under the sea. Oh, I've never... Have I just died? I've never had this event before. You struggle against her grip, but it's no use. As you look around, you realize that the rest of your crew has fallen for the same trick. Sirens are surrounding the boat, pulling them under the water. I didn't know there were such beasts in the Game of Thrones. Oh, man. I thought, I thought it would actually end the war. No, you fight with all your might trying to break free from the siren's grasp but it's no use you're being pulled further and further down into the depths of the sea and you know that if you don't do something fast you will be doomed to spend the rest of your days as a prisoner of the siren i try one last effort to get free oh i broke free oh and i reboot the robot oh okay we didn't die Holy crap. Okay, we know not to fall for such things again. I, I, it gave me a similar vibe to the the dungeon with the, the special gem. But I, I've never had that version before. So I wanted to see what it was about. Holy crap, that was scary. My acquaintances are dying. Okay, my wife has become pregnant already. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I just got to keep an eye out for the hostile enemy armies. 41 gold we're lo losing. Really? You're organizing the army as well? Man. Oh, I guess it's because we're replenishing, right? No, we're not even replenishing right now. What on earth? Okay. I mean, you're going to sit here and replenish a little bit. Okay, the Arins have come with me. Apparently, they sailed all the way back. Do you have siege equipment? You do. Right. We're, we're just not... We're, we're just not sieging very fast, are we? Okay. Let's ransom some of these. In fact, we could just do another mass ransom. It's easier. Let's do that. We're going to mass ransom five of them. We're, we, we are now illustrious already. So if we can survive long enough, war with the, the Iron Throne could be a thing we do in our lifetime. If we can survive all of these bloody factions. Right. My concubine has blessed me with another son. Where's the name suggestions? Um. Well, that's a bloody mouthful. User HG3D05HM7N. Apparently, you didn't sell a YouTube name. You have gone with the name Axel and uh, and requested stewardship. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> Please set a username. <laughs> it's much easier when I write down these things and whatnot and keep track of stuff. Um. Do I have someone to educate you? 
Oh, my 20 free stewards are very nice. Right, let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually getting very educated children at the moment. Right, let's go ahead and update the name list. Thank you again. I won't read out your username, though. Um, I think once was enough for my brain. I asked an intimate bard that we're not doing with bards and crap right now. and trying to fight a bloody war. Right, let's increase our taxes. That sounds like a good idea. Ally has joined the war. You died from being ill. Right. Okay. That's unfortunate. I mean, moving on though, because we got too much to deal with. <gasps> King Damien has just died. And now King Baylor has ascended to the Iron Throne. The Targaryens have really held on to power, you know. I would like to do something about that, but um, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. The Serpent of the Oaken Shore needs a successor. This has gone out of control as well. But I've already ranted about the accolades today, so I'm not going to do it again. After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my captain's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Lady Nessa and Magister Edgar in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. Come on, guys. We are stronger when we stand together. Let us not fight inwards, but instead focus outwards. Uh, I don't need secrets right now. I really don't need secrets right now. Uh, maybe secrets would be good though. Ah, I, 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 my, all my mental energy is being consumed by this war. Eight months, fourth level ten. Wow. Do I have the best siege equipment? I think I do. I, I've checked this several times. I just can't believe how bad my siege equipment is. Wait, right, uh, I swear I literally just sold this. Right, Sigrin, you're gonna serve. <laughs> uh, we can ransom more as well right let's do another bloody one of these then why don't we we're getting prestige though so it's not the worst thing where are all of their armies have they gone back to bloody pike oh yes they have oh they're sieging pike oh, oh 11 years oh that's not bad right let's go i think we can deal with this we have friendly territory we can actually land on this time We'll defeat their armies and all will be good in the world again. Never mind. Oh, never mind. To my liege, it is time for you to recognize the full independence of Mir and all the other states in the independence faction, accept our demands or face our swords on the battlefield. Wait, I thought Mir was controlled by whores. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Lord Roderick, you, my cousin lost it. Oh, there was probably a rebellion. And we didn't have an alliance. Oh, no. Okay, the free cities are not so eager to fall under whore control. Um, I mean, I'm not going to let them break away for free, of course. But I kind of also need my armies over here now. Oh, this is an absolute mess. All of the free cities other than Tyrosh are currently, and Lys are currently against me. Wait, Lys. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what happened here? This is. What? What? Okay. Joe, you know, we need to do a free cities playthrough at some point, starting over here. It would be really fun. Man, they're so stubborn. They really. It's so hard to gain control of them. I should have kept the kingdom titles myself, maybe. I thought if I gave it to whores, then they could uh, deal with the rebellions. But no, they're not strong enough. Right, I need to call on the Arons and you again. And I can't afford to send this army back to Pike yet. They're going to have an army. How many? 18,000, right? We can probably crush this army. Um, If we land ourselves up here... Let's go ahead and do that. My wife has given me a son. However, he's not my son and heir. My bastard is my heir. Which is interesting. Right. Where's the name list? Shadow Wolf. You have gone with the name Alazred. I think that's how I say that. Thank you very much for the name suggestion. And you have decided to go with learning as well. So let's go ahead uh, and assign this. My maester is probably the best here. That he is. 26 learning. Beautiful stuff. Did I pin you? Uh, no, let's pin you then and update the name list. I'm slowing down a bit because things are getting actually very chaotic now. 
very chaotic. I might have to go three times speed here. There's so much stuff going on. Okay, the Aryans are going to join this independence war as well. I just want to tone things down a bit. I want to relax my mind. Uh, and not feel so overwhelmed. But right, you're sieging this. That's fine. That's fine. You're going to have to deal with this mere rebellion. Uh, the soldiers are up there. We should get rid of the disembark penalty in time. To, to face them. The good news, we have all of this friendly territory to meet them on as well. All babies cry, but with little Alasred, there's no end to the tears. Oh, he's sickly. Okay, I need a wet nurse. Do I have a wet nurse? It's funny. Uh, in my spare time, guys, I always basically play on like three times speed or slower. But YouTube, I always play four times speed. Because people complain that I play the game too slow. <laughs> Wait, I can't have a wet nurse. Um, it's probably down here, right? Search for a wet nurse. Yeah, let's go ahead and get one of those. I should probably set this to notify as well. Because I guess we always want one. Uh, for sure. How are we doing here? Another 14 days. Well, I think I need to get my army just away a little bit. Because we don't want to fight yet. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get the experienced uh, wet nurse. It's the most expensive. Or she is, sorry. Uh, but that's fine. 10 more days. Okay, if I can survive the... Oh, sweet. Yeah. We're going to survive another five days. Disembark penalty has gone. Wait, you're sieging this? Oh, wait, why though? Oh, it's hostile territory. Okay, I'm just going to go and hit you. Honestly. I I've had enough of your bloody... Your bloody ways. Right, okay, we're going to fight on friendly territory instead, I guess. Um, I think I beat them. The Battle of Foranor is actually much closer than I thought. It's because I don't have dragons. I'm suddenly used to having dragons from my other series. Oh, the Arons are here though? Okay. We should crush them. Please give me a valuable prisoner. And we can end at least one of the independence wars straight away. Also, whilst we're over here, they could be attacking my sieging army. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Okay. Let's just keep an eye on these guys. Okay, they're fine. I'm going to bring this army back just to replenish a little bit. 39% war score is not a bad start. The clandestine reports we received from Willow have suddenly stopped. It appears the skills were not good enough to avoid discovery. And even worse, Willow has revealed my involvement. Wait, what was that for? Huh? Disrupt the schemes. I don't even know what you were doing. Uh, wife, we, we need money. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have too few concubines. I could take my cousin as a concubine. She's comely and intelligent. In fact, I'm going to do that. Wait, I should have maximum concubines now, right? Yes, I do. Okay, nice. Beautiful stuff. I could help them siege, but honestly, uh, we don't have any siege equipment, so I feel like it's kind of pointless. Right, let's go back to four times speed. At least we can take this, and then I'm going to bring this army. I mean... It's hard to know what even is friendly territory anymore. Right, the darker stuff. The light blue stuff is me. Oh, dear. Right, we can take this, though. That's part of the, the new independence war. Oh, I need to keep an eye on Pike as well. Oh, Pike is no longer being sieged. They actually gave up on that. Okay, that's good at least. That's useful. How long for this? Three months. For real? You have all the siege equipment. You have a bloody military engineer as well. Man, this is brutal. Uh, we've unlocked a prowess perk, though. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, I don't even know. Prowess defender advantage. Defender advantage is probably going to be useful here, actually. We're going to be defending a lot. Are you bringing your armies back? You are, right. If we're, if we're lucky, we might be able to get another victory here. Let's go on free time speed. Uh, and try and catch up to it. Nice. And they didn't manage to get across the river either. Right, this army's finished its siege. Let's tell you guys to carry on. Oh, you can't teleport if they're in a battle for some reason. Which is interesting. We can still watch the battle though. There we go. We captured more enemies. We're on 49% war score now. Let's just kind of sit here and replenish. 47,000 supply limit. Holy crap. Also, we're going to be getting prestige from winning these battles, I think, as well. Uh, which is very nice stuff. I'm going to not do a mass ransom because we're going to want to revoke some of these titles when the wars end. So let's try and keep on top of that. I will stay on free time speed, though. Four months here. I want you guys to send another army. Oh, they don't have an army. Right. Okay. 
in that case uh where's the iron islands there we go let's sail you back to pike yes yes let us and maybe the errands will stay here we'll see what they do uh okay this is increased i, I would have preferred the prestige but that's fine 79 to okay though no, it's a lot more 82 to embark it's not the worst thing and they're gonna help us siege now as well okay put my diplomatic oh no it's fine she gains 30 opinion on me my wife is in love with me i mean not in love but she's she's starting to tolerate me a little bit more to be honest what more could you could you want from life right uh my prisoners are dying in my dungeons i mean i could want that as well right you've taken this uh let's go ahead and take this castle next yes prisoners can be ran so i'm not dealing with that right now all i want to deal with is this army oh you're gonna sail for the riverlands and embark again i mean it's the fastest way it's fine right my concubine is now bearing my child i am now known as dark iron Ooh. oh i like that that sounds cool Iron King Garen Dark Iron of the Isles and the Free Cities. Or at this point, the Free City. Um, no, we have two. We have Lys and Tywash. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, we're almost back um, here. You're moving. Yep, so we don't have to siege uh, just yet. And the Aaron should defend this sieging army as well. We're going to waste another bit of 82 gold, but it was the fastest way here, lads. And ladies, of course. Right. I have a good fear. I think we can win these. It's just going to take a bit of effort. My concubine's pregnant again as well. Ah, you're spying in my courts, are you? I won't reveal who sent you. Very well. I shall send you to my dungeons. Now, we're going to get disembark penalties. However, I believe that if we land on Pike, they cannot defeat us isolate capital please don't tell me the plague is over here it's not okay we can ignore this let us ignore that surely you cannot win yeah they're not coming to attack me which is a very good sign right so three more weeks and then we shall be the ones attacking them it would be good to win some battles that will help the war score math uh, massively i think come on seven more days two more days okay the time has now come let us start destroying their armies. Let us destroy them and get our vengeance. The Battle of Kraken Rock is now fully underway. They outnumber us nearly two to one. But we have the better army. I have no, no captains here for some reason. Where's all my captains? Um, apparently we have 19. I might have to re-raise them. Uh, in fact, oh, my captains are off bloody fighting tournaments. Look, qualifies for a tournament. How about you come and fight for me instead? I'm going to raise uh, another army here. That should have captain. Yeah, 11 captains. Okay, that's much better. Uh, 50 days left. That's fine. Stop gathering. I just want to merge these two armies. Much better. Right. We did manage to win this battle, which is very nice. I'm now known for my dedication to my faith as well. We are a devoted servant. Where are you guys running to? You're going to disembark? Oh man, I should have chased them faster maybe. Oh no, no, they're going to fight me. They're going to fight me. I would like to fight you on my terrain though. Okay, we're not going to have the choice. The Battle of Red Harbor is now underway. We're doing good on the war school, guys. Oh wait, we're in a battle. Oh no, no, no. The armies have flipped. Okay, you're not in a battle, right? You go here. Uh, and this army's over there. Let's go ahead and teleport and see what they're going up to. We are winning. We have the advantage. We have 14 captains now. Much better. We should probably check the, the battle report for this as well. We killed 10,000. Oh, including their leader. Okay, that's important. My glory is now widely known. I am exalted among men. So once we do these independence factions, we can consider starting to think about the Iron Throne as well. Right. We won another battle. This is important. Uh, the Oaken Shield, Oaken Shore needs a successor. Let's go ahead and force this. When we lose land, if Magister Tritio the Worthy of Pentos wins the war. Yeah, but he's not going to win. Don't worry about that game. Don't worry. Okay, we, we should have um, attacked them. I forgot to chase them again. Oh, no, they're going to disembark, right? Please don't. Please don't. Yes, we caught them. And we shouldn't have a cap on our war score. 
because we're the defenders. So we keep on healing their armies like they did to us at the beginning of the war. We should be fine. This army's still sieging as well. Oh, we've turned it around, guys. Somehow I always find a way. I might not play the most optimally or efficiently. But I'll tell you what. We do have some cracking stories and some turning points. And I do have a lot of fun, which is the most important thing. Uh, my daughter is a genius and pretty as well, right? Um, my, my cousin <laughs> is her mother as well. Let's see. I need a viewer name suggestion. Knight of Arnor. You have gone with the name Yara. Thank you very much for the name suggestion there. Let's go ahead and pin her. And we're going to go with Intrigue as well. We do like a bit of intrigue in the Whore dynasty. Uh, my spy master is going to educate her. Beautiful stuff. Right, let's update that one. Sometimes just slowing down to three times speed uh, and really taking your time and, and getting immersed is exactly what you need. Right, where are you guys going? This time I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to chase you. Let's go this way though, just so we're not making, taking a, a crap ton of attrition. We should be able to catch them before they embark, I hope. That's my plan. That is plan. 95% war score. If we can win this battle, which I think we definitely will, we can end the first independence war. Fascination discovered. Men at arms. Okay, so we're going to get more men at arms stuff. Patrol has been fulfilled. That popped up there. So what do we get for this? Uh, size of men at arms regiments plus four. Max number of men at arms regiments plus one. So we need scootage or urbanization. Um, I'm going to go for scootage. Let's get this first. Because uh, it's hard to get development out of the way. So we'll go for that one last. The Battle of Moonport. We have been victorious. Wait, no. Oh, are we actually bat... Uh, are we capped now? Oh, we're capped for war school. Oh, damn it. For battle school, I mean. Right, this army's just going to sit on pike for a little bit. That's fine. We've kind of destroyed them. Uh, we need to siege more land over here. If we siege this, that should help us. And my concubine has given birth to a son who is beautiful and quick. Where's the name suggestions? Pull up the list, lad. First, you have gone with the name Golot. Thank you very much for the name suggestion. You've also gone for Marshall. So let's go ahead and lock that in. And then let's see. Relationships. Uh, Marshall. My wet nurse. We'll educate the wee lad. Thank you very much for the name suggestion. Man, we got uh, we got to use quite a few names this episode. I'm happy. Because the, the name list is actually starting to look a bit smaller. <laughs> it gets to the point where it's so bloody huge. And it's like, oh, wow. When am I ever going to get through this? But luckily, it's starting to shrink a little bit. <laughs> Iron King Garon's boils are spreading. That must be over here, though. Oh no, Golod is sickly as well. My wet nurse, come on. You're supposed to be helping with this. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, there's a lot of peasant revolts and stuff helping as well. Oh, we're only 88% war score now. But why? You didn't siege anything, did you? No. Ah, you bloody assholes. Do you know what we could do? Use this army to take back trawling at least. I think that would help the war score as well. And then this army, just keep on sieging. We're going to be okay, lads. Yeah, war score is max. We can't get any more than 100%. A little bit of a shame. Uh, battle score, sorry. I, I'm always confusing my terminology. Which is not helpful. I'm being raided. I, I'm going to have to ignore this for now. I need to deal with these independence factions. Right, one more week left on this siege. I do feel a change in the wind, though. I do feel... Okay, there's a hostile army here. Can I link up with my allies before they get to me? And King Baelor ate some poisonous plants and just died. So now King Arion is at the head of the Iron Throne. Oh man, now would be such a good time to declare on them if I wasn't already dealing with other things. That's so unfortunate, right? 50 days to siege this. Oh, you're taking this back even though you're a hostile army? Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. How long to take this? Three months. That's because you have no siege equipment though. I can forgive this. Okay, I think uh, that we can still play for a few more minutes. Ah, this is my last recording of the day as well, actually. So if I wanted to, I could go a little bit longer. If my voice can hold out. Joy, because we've slowed down on free turn speed, my voice, I found like I'm not straining my voice so much. 
when I'm not in a rush, uh, it's also better as well. But like, I know people don't like free time speed. Because it's even slower than normal. Maybe if I streamed, it would be more acceptable. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, also, I realize in these videos, I kind of just speak my thoughts. So sometimes I say random things that might not make sense. I mean, that made sense. But yeah. <laughs> I always uh, put forward my thoughts as they come. But at least you know they're authentic. And when I, I make no sense, uh, now you understand that I don't even understand myself when I'm thinking. Alright, how's this going? Okay, this one's almost complete. Another two weeks. We're losing war scores still as well. 80%. Occupied counties. Okay, if I take trawling as well. Um, attacker controls war target. Yeah, but they don't for they control nothing. War score from held objectives, minus 97%. Wait, if you're fighting for independence, oh, I have to take all your lands? Oh, bloody hell. That feels like a little bit unfair. Right, I'm just going to land on these guys. The disembark penalty shouldn't actually hit us that hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. The hostile army has found us. Oh, there was another hostile army. And we have, like, no men-at-arms or champ. Oh, we have 11 captains here somehow. Oh, the Arins, please, 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 please. Okay, they're going to join. Okay, they're going to crush them. Holy crap. Okay, we were saved there. That was a bit lucky. That was lucky. War score is, um, is really struggling, actually. Right, did you... Okay, we scared them off. And now they're coming over here to fight the raiders. Oh man, this disembark stuff. And embark stuff is killing my killing my gold. It's so bloody expensive. Right, you guys fight the raiders. And then I'll pick up the, the scraps after, maybe. That could be an idea, you know. Okay, the raiders. Okay, the raiders are actually leaving now. I'm going to deal with that. No, I'm not. I'm going to sit in pike. And we should be fine. Right, you've sieged this. Let's go ahead and siege some more land. The Arins are close by as well, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. I still do have 80 of my siege equipment, which is nice as well. But guys, I think I will wrap up the episode there. We've gone over 30 minutes. We are winning both Independence War, but we're definitely not free yet. Not as free as the free cities. I mean, they're not that free, technically. Man, this destroyed us. It's all hostile. They can raise armies everywhere. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching as always. Apologies, it's a bit slower. I'll be honest, though. I kind of enjoy playing slower. Uh, I, I, I would embrace free time speed more if it was up to me. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will overcome these independence war. And I will see you next time.